Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Me Medicine and Melodies podcast. So today the topic of the podcast is all about empathy. Empathy is the key to master the successful relationships. What if there was one skill in your life that could transform all of your relationships? Can you think about it? What is that particular skill or quality? Today we are diving into one of the topics that is the heart of every meaningful connection and relationship in life. Empathy. Today we're going to explore that empathy is not only a trait. It's kind of an art which is crucial for every successful relationship. First of all, let us define empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another person. Actually, when you step into somebody else's shoes and when you feel like him or her, that is what we call empathy. You have to see the world from their perspective, their eyes. And then what is your expected out of you? That is you have to respond with kindness, with understanding, compassion. Well, I can only say that empathy is a kind of a glue. It binds everyone together in a successful relationship. It can be any kind of relationship, your family relations, your personal relations, your friendships, everything. The basic ingredient is empathy. Let us understand the true meanings of empathy. You don't have to feel sorry for someone to be empathetic. It is not feeling sorry for someone. It involves actively listening to someone. And then you have to acknowledge their emotions, understand everything and respond with compassion. So why is empathy so crucial in all the relationships? Just imagine a perfect world, a utopia kind of a feeling you get when you imagine that everybody is understanding everybody else's emotions, problems, feelings. What does it make this world into? It turns this world into a place where there is a lot of fostering trust, deep, valuable connections. There are no conflicts. Everything is beautiful, graceful, and full of compassion and understanding. Right? So, empathy is the basic keystone, milestone, foundation of happy, healthy relationship. There can be many common obstacles to empathy. Can you just count a few of them? Well, I'll give you a few of them which you can count on your fingers. Cultural influences, social influences, personal biases family biases and very rigid point of views and perspectives. These are the obstacles to empathy. You need to understand the other's point of view in your personal relationships. You need to comfort other people. You need to understand the point of view of your children, your siblings and also your friends and help them through the tough times. You have to collaborate with your colleagues at work. Empathy plays a pivotal role in everything that we do. How can you master or practice empathy? Well, there are few positive key points that you can actually dive into and practice to master empathy. Active listening exercises, participate in perspective taking exercises or activities, develop mindful practices to foster empathy and awareness among each other and always seek feedback from others to improve upon your empathetic skills. It requires a really a lot of patience, practice, hard work, mindfulness, awareness and in true sense willingness to step into other shoes and come out of your own comfort zone and feel the pain of others. So I will give you some strategies that you can develop empathy kind of attitude in your daily lives. At least begin with. The first is the active listening. You need to listen. You need to be patient to listen to others. You have to be observant. You should be very keen at what the other person is saying. Don't judge them. Don't interrupt them. So that the other person feels heard and understood. That is a very important thing. Then another thing you can practice is perspective taking. 
you have to see the world through the other's eyes through the other lens you have to understand their joys their perspective their meanings their comprehension their pain their fears and their struggles you have to expand a world view and embrace the diversity of other humans and last but not the least there is a lot of importance of validation and compassion you have to validate the others emotions and make them feel perfectly fine so that they are not guilty of fearing of what they are thinking or feeling for the others they should be comfortable of their emotions of their perspective of their thoughts they should feel safe and openness in the whole surroundings they should be comfortable in the space that they are fitting into honest communications can strengthen the bonds that people share amongst each other and that fosters empathy so while wrapping up today's video i would just like to say i want to leave you with this particular thought empathy is one of trait that everybody is born with you have to cultivate and learn this art of selflessness and master it through different kind of strategies and qualities and and develop within yourself by practicing empathy regularly in your relationships you can enrich your life you can enrich the life of other people you can bring happiness in your life and in life of others also and make this world a truly understanding compassionate place to live for everyone always remember live and let live thank you so much for watching and listening to me if you enjoyed this particular episode about empathy and successful relationships don't forget to give a thumbs up to my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that we stay tuned and connected for more such kind of talks discussions and wonderful ideas i'll be bringing you more episodes about me medicine and melodies podcast until next time take care spread the kindness wherever you go thank you take care bye bye